Hi, it's Louise Warwick and you're watching Cover Models TV and welcome to my day in the life. Originally I'm from the UK yeah. and I went on a TV show when I was 18 or 19 years old, um, which is based around girls wanting to become models. Okay. So I did that show, had a great experience. Oh, it was like a, co like a competition? Yeah, it was Next Top Model. Oh, I don't know, they yes. have an American version over yeah. here. Yeah, so I did that show wow. and had a great experience. And then I came to New York for college. Um, I'm at NYU as an undergraduate student. And after two years, I decided I wanted to get back into modeling. So I just went from there, really. When you were a little girl, mm -hmm. did you imagine yourself doing modeling? How was your well, story? I was, <laughs> well, I was actually more of a tomboy growing up. Oh, um, wow. I was super I was into running. <laughs> yeah, um, I grew up and I was a long distance runner. Um, I okay. ran for Great Britain and England in cross country running. So I was super into sports actually, but you know, as a young girl, I think most young girls love fashion as well. Um, and the opportunity just came around to go on Britain's Next Top Model. So mm -hmm. I just went with it and I really enjoyed the experience. And, you know, I went to college in New York and then I decided, oh, you know, being in New York, I was getting a few offers here and there. So I just mm -hmm. decided to go for it, sign to an agency and just see how far I can go. Before I moved to New York, I lived in central London for a year. So I think that really helped me just get used to living in a major city. So mm -hmm. for me, it wasn't too bad going from London to New York mm -hmm. because I think the cities are quite similar. Your goals, what are your goals in the industry? So, well, I'd say my goals are just to continue working really hard. Um, and for this year, I just want to graduate NYU and then continue the modeling and just have fun with it really and see yeah. how far I can go. It's all, about, it's all about having fun and making networking. Exactly. Yeah. Are you signed with an agency? I am, I'm with APM Models mm -hmm. and they're a great agency. Really important to go with a really reputable agency. Mm -hmm. If you're thinking of going into modeling, you know, go to a major city like New York, Paris, London, Milan, and go and meet with as many agencies as you can and just test the water, see which ones really like you and which ones don't, because mm -hmm. I would say go with an agency that's really going to push you. And then I'd also do your research. You know, if you get offered a contract by an agency, you know, just contact a few of the models they have and just get a feel for, you know, how often do you work? What type of jobs do you get? Are they mm -hmm. good with payments? Um, and then just make a decision based off that. For me, um, commercial works better for me because mm -hmm. generally there's, the money, there's right? more money in commercial mm -hmm. modeling. Plus, I kind of dabble in everything. I do the commercial stuff, I do the print stuff, I do the runway stuff, I do the high fashion stuff. So I'm kind of like a mixed bag, really. Yeah. Um, so I would say I prefer the American market just okay. because there's more of a market here like I you know there's, there's more money more uh -huh. there's more companies out here there's more clients out here you know you can work full-time as a high fashion mm -hmm. model here or you could work full-time as a commercial model here 
whereas Europe doesn't have that big of a market. Mm -hmm. Working in uh, around the country, because you've been in Miami also, mm -hmm. what, what difference do you see in those markets, like in New York and Miami, for example? Yep. LA, have and you LA, been in LA? Yep, I okay. have. Um, I would say LA and Miami are quite similar. It's definitely more swimwear, um, definitely more commercial, and then New York is just like, it's where, it's just a hub, it's where everything is at. Mm -hmm. What do you think about social media? You know, I, I find social media such a fascinating industry. I mean, you know, 15 years ago, it, it didn't exist. Yeah. Um, and now it's become an industry on its own. And I think being a fashion model, you know, it's very apparent that having a strong social media presence is very important, actually. I mean, you know, there's so many times I go to castings and they're like, okay, what are your social number, like, what are your social media numbers? How many followers do you have on Instagram yeah. and Twitter? Because a lot of these companies, they want to book a girl with a lot of followers. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's essentially free marketing for them, you know? Yeah. Um, so, you know, those two industries go hand in hand, you know, social media and the fashion industry. There's a real yeah. crossover. So, you know, they both complement each other. I follow you on Instagram. I'm on right Instagram. Now. I'm on Twitter as well. And that's okay. it. Snapchat okay. and I used to have Facebook a few years ago but it just got so time-consuming mm -hmm. so I you know I filtered it right down just Instagram and Twitter what is your biggest accomplishment as a uh, as a model here well, a few years ago, I did Calvin Klein. Um, I did a campaign for them, which was mm -hmm. pretty cool um, because I, I just love I just love all the brands I've got to work with, you yeah. know, growing like up. Calvin Klein, which, which yeah, other ones? Yeah, I've worked for Guess. I've mm -hmm. worked for Dior Makeup, um, just a bunch of amazing brands. Um, and, you know, like growing up, I would tear out pages of magazines <laughs> of my favorite, you know, brands and campaigns, and my favorite models and, you know, just being in that hub in New York, working in it, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, it's a really it's a incredible thing. experience, yeah. yeah. What, have you done uh, magazines? Yep, yeah. I have, yep. Which I've done ones? Vogue. Um, I did, I was on the cover of Vigore magazine. Very nice. And I'm shooting a cover of World Bridal magazine in the next two weeks. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, do you also do runway? I do, yep. Mm -hmm. I've done New York Fashion Week about six times now. So it's twice a year, New York Fashion Week. Yeah. It's coming up in September. Are you prepared for this one? I mean, I hope I am. I, the, all the castings are a week before Fashion yeah. Week, so I get asked all the time, oh, are you going to be walking in New York Fashion Week? And I say, I have absolutely no idea. You know, you just go there, you go to as many castings as you can, and you yeah. just see what you get booked for. Um, I usually do three or four shows a season mm -hmm. um, because I'm not a stereotypical runway model. Okay. So for me, three or four shows is about right. And then I also mm -hmm. attend a few. So it's, it's a fun experience. Yeah. Thank you.
what do you mean by you're not the typical runway model? What do you mean by that? Well, I'm so I'm five foot nine, mm -hmm. um, and most runway girls who are taller primarily just do runway. Yeah, they're like six foot. Yeah, lot slimmer than I am. So. I, I'm just grateful to do, you know, the shows that I have done. Yeah, so the, yeah. the shows that you book normally are more like lingerie, like more commercial or, um, or no, high fashion? No, not necessarily. Okay. Yeah, I do a lot of high fashion shows as well. It's mm -hmm. just, it's a real mix, you okay. know. Um, it just depends on who likes you, Yeah, correct? exactly, yeah. You never know, like one season they might be looking for these type of girls. Mm -hmm. You know, the next season they might be looking for these type of girls. So yeah. it really just depends. Um, you go and see the specific company. Sometimes they'll hire a casting director, which mm -hmm. you don't, but usually it's, you know, the brand themselves. It's usually the designer that wants to pick their own models along with their team. Mm -hmm. And you go there, there's usually a line, there's usually a lot of girls at yeah. the casting. You wait to be seen. You meet with them, you usually hand over your comp card. You, you know, they take a few photos mm -hmm. of you. They sometimes ask you to try on a few outfits. They'll sometimes measure you just to, to do sure. alterations <laughs> uh -huh. and then that's about it really and then you'll they find out from your agent yep you do a walk as well and mm -hmm. then you find out from your agent if you've booked it or not projects going on besides the magazine that you're going to shoot? Well, I'm working with BCBG Max Asria next week. Okay. Um, and then, I don't know, I, you know, my agency just calls me up and tells me what to do. And <laughs> <Are you, laughs> so you, I never... You get called every day or like during the week? Or? Honestly, usually I get told the day before my schedule for the next day. So, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you know, like a few weeks ago, for example, it was 4 p.m. and I was like, right, you're going to upstate New York at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and you're going to be shooting a lookbook all day until okay. 8 p.m. And I didn't know that until the evening before. So it's that's the modeling industry, though. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is very last minute. And, you know, your schedule change. My schedule changes like a lot. So if I think I'm shooting, you know, three days, Next week it'll end up being five days or it'll end up being one day, you know, it, it really varies. Well, for me, I, I really do have to prioritize the education um, mm -hmm. because, you know, graduating is very important to me. And NYU is, they're very strict on attendance, actually. Um, a lot of people think it wouldn't be, but they're very strict on attendance. So if you miss more than three classes in a semester, they'll fail you. Um, and the classes are very small. Um, mm -hmm. You know, most of my classes are maximum 20 people. So it's, you, it's very like, you know, you do learn a lot and you do have to be there and engage and speak up in class. I'd like to combine, you know, the sports management degree with the modeling. Yeah. I'm really interested in marketing PR and PR, so maybe we'll go there. But I'm also thinking, I think I might go to law school, so oh, that's just okay. another one. I'm interested. I, I'm thinking? just like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so many things and especially in this city, there's like so much to offer. Yeah, and that's what I love about New York is yeah. there's just so many opportunities mm -hmm. and you know I, I just never complain about being busy because I just you know want to grab as many opportunities as possible and just see what happens. Tell me more about the, this other side of you, the smart side. Well, I so I study sports management at NYU. Mm -hmm. I'm going into my senior year, so fingers crossed I'll be graduating in May. Wow. Um, <laughs> it, it, it is tough, you yeah. know, like just balancing work and academics. It's always, you know, every week it's like, oh, you know, my agent will call and be like, mm -hmm. can we book you for this? And I'll mm -hmm. be like, no, I've got statistics then. Like, yeah. I can't do that shoot. I have, you know, I have to be at class. Yeah. Um, so you're not a full-time model? I mean, I, I, I try and be full time in both and just yeah. make it work. Um, That's good. You know, I try and schedule a lot of evening classes mm -hmm. or very early morning classes so I'm free during the day to work. 
Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I, I manage it somehow. <laughs> Um, well, at the moment I'm running a lot. I'm okay. training for the New York Marathon in November, so wow. it's so intense. And how, how long is it? Um, the marathon's 26.2 miles. Oh my god. And <laughs> I'm aiming to do it in three and a half hours. Okay, um, that's a good bit of time yeah. <laughs> to make it possible. Yeah, the training though, it's, it's, it's intense. It's, it's such a strain on the body. Mm -hmm. I'm, working, I'm running 35 miles a week right okay. now, um, and I'm, I should probably increase that to 40, 45 miles. But it's intense. It's, it's definitely tough. But I want to, you know, it's a goal of mine to do the New York Marathon. So I'm going to make it happen. I can imagine. Do you train by yourself or do you have a trainer? I'm, so I'm a member of the New York um, Running Club, mm -hmm. um, the Central Park Track Runners. Okay. Yeah, and they're a really great team. They have some really fast runners. So I'm training with them twice a week. I can uh, bring you around oh. and show you a day in the life. It might yeah. be a bit hectic. So I'm currently training for the New York Marathon in November and I'm at 55 miles plus training a week. Normally when I'm in school as well, um, mm -hmm. normally I would wake up. I usually like to go for a run either early in the morning or later at night. I either go to the gym or go for a long run. And then I'll usually have class, so I'll go to class for a few hours at NYU. And mm -hmm. then I'll usually have a few castings mm -hmm. that day around the city. So, you know, I'll go straight from class to my castings. Or if I'm working, I'll go straight from class to a job and then you know, do the job or do the castings, and then yeah. I'll usually have class in the evening. And I usually go for a nighttime run as well. So wow. that's so a you day in the life. So you work out twice a day? I, at, the, at the moment I am, yes. I'm training for the marathon. Mostly so for, for the marathon. Yeah, I, yeah, you have to really step up your game to train for the marathon. The next 12 months is gonna be a big push for me, you know, getting through graduating NYU as well as juggling the modeling. It's the next year I'm going to be very focused on work and school. Thank you so much for coming thank to the so show. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you all for watching and supporting us. See you next time. <laughs>